Okay, everybody. So in the last part of this lesson, we created a standard web page layout using uh, Notepad and basic HTML. Using Notepad, we created a, a, a standard uh, HTML structure, and then we added a table to it. We added some rows, a column. Uh, we gave it some color and uh, you know added some lists to it and this came out of it this came out of our HTML code when we opened it up in uh, Firefox web browser um, we are going to try to recreate this web page using Adobe Dreamweaver uh, and you will see how simpler it is to use Adobe Dreamweaver to create your web pages uh, than it would be to use uh, a program like Notepad. Uh, Adobe Dreamweaver provides a lot more features and has a lot of components you can just drag and drop into your code uh, window or your design view window to create your web page. Uh, Adobe Dreamweaver is a true what you see is what you get HTML editor uh, basically means as you type your code your code is being rendered um, by the program in a visual you know and giving you a visual representation as you would see it on the internet so let's open up Adobe Dreamweaver and let's try to create this uh, web page layout and see how simpler it is to recreate it in Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, so uh, let's go up to File, New, uh, select Blank Page, HTML, we click Create. And as you can see, as I create this new web page, Adobe Dreamweaver already creates, I mean, already adds a lot of the basic HTML structure for me. Okay, uh, it, it's 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 added the uh, HTML opening tag, the HTML close tag, the body tags here, the head tags here, uh, the title tag, uh, and so on. So a lot of the work uh, is already done for me by just me choosing to create a new web page. So let me go ahead and change the title here. Okay, my first web page okay uh, and click refresh here let's go ahead and create our table okay as you see as I start to create my table Adobe Dreamweaver is already trying to help me by um, giving me this drop-down list with the attributes of the table element uh, that you know so I can choose from okay now I can go ahead and try to type the table in and try to you know to, to recreate the table like the last time I did with notepad but again why do all of that when Adobe Dreamweaver wants to do a lot of the work for you so instead of me uh, typing in the table I can simply go up to insert click table you know choose a standard table click OK and click refresh and you can see it added the table for me the code as well as uh, the table in design view okay I can come stretch it out okay I'm gonna add I'm gonna split some split the cell and add three rows okay I'm gonna move this here again split column okay I'm gonna make the background color red like the last time yellow gray dark gray blue
Okay, we're going to add our menu like we did the last time. Let's align this to the top like the last time. If you align top, okay, let's say menu. Okay, we're going to add, let's say Google. What was that Microsoft? Uh, Bobson Consulting. Was it Yahoo? Yahoo and Facebook, I think the last one. Okay, and we're going to select and add a list. Okay, and align top again, via line. Content goes here. My web page. Okay, come align it. Let's see, align center. Okay, let's make the width like the last time 753 and the height. Let's scroll up here and mess with the height. Height 730. Refresh. Let's save it to the desk top. Let's call it my first web page. Page two, and then save. Okay, now let's view it in our web browser. We're using Chrome. Do I have? Let's see. Well, Chrome is not coming up. Let's try Firefox. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so this is our web page uh, recreated using Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, this is the last one we created using uh, Notepad. So we're going to put them side by side. Notepad, Dreamweaver. Okay, you can see a slight difference. Notepad and then Dreamweaver. Okay, and you also notice how fast it was to recreate in um, Adobe Dreamweaver rather than Notepad. It took me like a good, what is that, uh, 14, 13 minutes to uh, sit there and type all of that code within Notepad. Um, when in Dreamweaver, I just came and you, you saw me, I just click, click, click 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 and that was basically it and uh, the beautiful one of the beautiful things about Adobe Dreamweaver as I'm creating it creating it on the left side here you see it uh, being done on the right side here okay so and there you go and this is what it looks like okay and this is what it looks like here and this is what it looks like when it's rendered within uh, a web browser like Firefox. Okay, let's look at the code, the full code here. Okay. Look, look at the design view here. Okay. 
All right, so that is basically it for today. Um, again, this was lesson two, uh, and today you learn about um, HTML, the basics of HTML, um, the difference between creating HTML using Adobe Dreamweaver uh, rather than using um, uh, a text-based uh, editor such as notepad or anything similar okay and come back next time for lesson three um, and okay well have a nice day bye bye